Well, I mean, Monday morning after a tough loss on Saturday is is never easy. Uh, you know, disappointed in 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 the results uh, of Saturday night, but understand that we're still in the process of things, and we've had kids in the gym this morning uh, doing individual workouts and working towards getting better, and we have practice here in a little bit, so uh, that's all we can do. But we uh, we still have a long way to go, but we knew that going in, and uh, Saturday night was just another step in that process. I think we learned a lot. We also learned that uh, playing with youth is sometimes going to be inconsistent. It's sometimes going to be uh, a struggle. Uh, but uh, each and every passing day, these kids are growing up, and, and that's what we need. Uh, nothing that happens between now and January uh, truly matters, in my opinion, uh, except us trying to use every opportunity to get better. Uh, but when January gets here, it, everything does matter. So we've got to prepare ourselves each and every day, mentally and physically, to be ready for that struggle. Your defense continues to be much improved, not just from last season, but just as these first five or six games have rolled along. Um, what are the biggest things you're looking for, though, as far as the defense improving? Uh, is it is it the drive, like guard to guard, face guarding? Is it post defense? What are you looking for to improve the most? Well, one of the disappointing things Saturday night was our post defense. You know, we got smashed underneath the board and allowed a kid just to turn and put it in. I think I might have even been able to score from from that perspective, but uh, that we were a little soft. I thought we were a little passive on our post defense, and that's something that's got to be corrected. Uh, I think foul trouble in previous games kind of gave us a mindset that we got to be careful. We can't, you know, we can't get in foul trouble. But what we have to understand is when you let people dominate you from the beginning of the game, that sets the tone for the whole game. So again, learning experience. Because when I say a young basketball team, even though we have juniors that are playing, these are players that do not have Division One experience. And so, you know, we're six games in to most of these players being on a Division One floor against other Division One teams. So, um, uh, straight line drives to the basket have got to get better. Uh, but I just think communication and effort as a whole has got to continue to improve. Are we are we improved? Absolutely. Are we anywhere where we need to be for conference defense? No. Um, but then again, day by day, just tr brick by brick, just try trying to build that. I mean, it's evident that Evelyn and Mace here are the two uh, main shot takers on the team, but would you like to see some more people take more shots? Because, I mean, you see them take 17, 18, and then I guess closest is probably seven or eight from maybe Janika every now and again. Do you want to see more offensive, like, effort from everybody else, just spread the ball around a little bit more? Yeah, I mean, we need, we're definitely going to have to have a third person step up as a score. Um, I, I'm not, I'm okay with Evelyn and Macy taking those shots because those are kids that have proven that they can do that. But we're going to have to have other people step up, whether that's one other person or if that's by committee. I think that's yet to be determined. But we're going to have to find that third score, and we're going to have to find some more consistency in our two scores uh, to be able to know that we can rely on and maintain on that. But you know, we're six games in. There's a lot of scout film out there now, so people know exactly who are the people that are taking our shots and where they're wanting to get their shots, and other teams are doing a good job of taking that away. And that's what's so vital about us being able to make adjustments, not only individually, but as a team. And it's what makes someone else stepping up that more, much more important. Um, you said it after the very first game, and, and I know she went over to you on Saturday, but Lex is shooting 50% from three right now. Can she be that third scorer? Do you want her to be that third scorer? Um, or is she gonna be more of kind of that catch and shoot three pointer that you can bag on. Well, I mean, Lex is going to have to make shots. That's what we need her to do. And uh, depending on the situation in the game, she definitely could be that third scorer because, I mean, we've seen her knock down three or four a game. Uh, she struggled Saturdays because of the speed and quickness. They're, they're not prepared for that yet. Um, uh, that's something that we can't stimulate in practice as, as well as I would like to. And we're going to make some changes and do some different things to help with that. But. Um, but again, it's speed of the game as much as anything and being comfortable and being able to get your shot off quicker and those type of things. But Lex is definitely one of the ones that can step up and give us, you know, six, eight points a game, I think. Uh, but we're also going to have to find some, some scoring from other places. I think our four spot is, is a spot right now that we're going to need somebody to step up and, and give us something in that area. And we're going to move some pieces around and see if that helps. From an execution standpoint offensively, what improvements do you want to see in this next uh, eight days before your next game? 
Well, I mean, we still need to continue to play fast, and we still need to be able to get some things going in transition. I think that's that's when we're at our best. But in our half-court offense, we're going to have to do a better job of getting into it quicker. We're having to take shots in late in the shot clock way too often. Part of part of Macy's uh, stats, uh, you know, need an asterisk out beside them. Say she had to take five shots in the last two seconds of the shot clock just to get a shot off. And and those are things that we're going to have to do better. We're going to, like I said, we're going to make some adjustments. I've, I've spent all weekend. Uh, watching film, looking at different things, trying to figure out different ways in which I can help us be more efficient offensively. And we're going to make those changes this week, and we're going to go with it and see. We're going to try to uh, put the ball in some other people's hands a little bit and, and see if that helps. Um, and, uh, you know, just like anything else, I, I'm, I'm still learning and trying to figure out what's best for this basketball team, but I'm going to do everything I can to put them in the best position I can. And uh, we're going to continue to coach them and work them hard and, and push to see where we can be. I mean, this is year two. Uh, I think uh, my expectations may be higher than most um, because people have to understand it takes time, uh, and we understand that, and uh, no one likes to lose at all, and I hate to lose. I can't even describe the feeling that losing brings to me, uh, but I also understand that uh, everything has its time, and uh, this team just needs some time. Uh, I forgot my question. I had it. It was literally right there. If I remember it, I'll text it to you or something. Um, Saturday, you had six players play over 10 minutes. Is that something that you, uh, is that just a flow of the game thing or what? And then I guess the second question is, what is it going to take for the players like DeAsia and Sakia to get more minutes to really bolster the death of this lineup? Right, well, I think that that's something that's going to come, and I think that that's something that will come with some of the adjustments that we're going to make. And, you know, there's a lot of things that go into um, why kids aren't necessarily playing. Uh, a certain amount of minutes and, uh, and sp for specific games and things like that. So, uh, you know, I don't think anything that we've done so far can definitely say this is the outline of how we're going to do things and this is the outline of who's going to get the minutes and who's not going to get the minutes. We're not ready for that yet. At some point, we'll probably have to pencil it in and say the, this is our rotation, this is what we're going with, but we're not there yet. So. Um, I'd like to get eight or nine deep, to be honest, and I'd like for our top players not to play 38, 39 minutes. But right now, that's where we are. Uh, but I think that as some players develop and we move some pieces around and people are able to identify what they need to do in their role, that we'll be able to give some people some more minutes and that they'll be able to come in and help us. I remember my question. Is it tough that some of these adjustments are going to come against some, maybe some of your toughest competition of the year, that you're going to be making these adjustments and that three weeks later you will have played Kentucky, Tennessee, and Illinois? And do you feel like you'll even get a good look against those kind of teams? Well, I mean, I, I definitely think that, uh, that that's hard. But I, do, I think that, that when you have your focus on you, then you can utilize all of those situations. I mean, if we can make these adjustments and we can go in and we can compete and we can score against those type of defenses and those big kids and, and do certain things uh, that we feel like that we're going to be looking – and be where we need to be when the conference play gets here. But, you know, the focus right now has to be on us. It can't be on uh, the fact that we have very tough schedule ahead of us. I think it's just something that we're going to have to continue to work on. I mean, there I knew what this schedule was going to be when I got into it, and I knew we were going to be young and inexperienced and, and that I was going to throw them to the fire. But um, um, hindsight has shown me that if you're willing to go through the fire and you're real willing to – uh, grow up on the job, that good things can happen to you in the end. And I think that's the story of my career that got me here, is, is those young kids grew up, those young kids got better, and those young kids uh, won championships. And, and that's what we're trying to do here. Uh, I know we're a week away, but what, what kind of challenges will Illinois bring to your team just from a scheme standpoint? Just what do you see from them? Well, I mean, they're going to be bigger. I mean, that's that's something when you go to conferences like that, they're going to be bigger, probably more athletic, uh, you know, more physical, those type of things. I mean, they'll bring the same type of things against us that a lot of the teams will. Now, they're not going to be nearly as big and athletic as Kentucky and Tennessee, uh, but they will have a, uh, have a lot of matchup problems for us. But, you know, they have to guard us too. Um, but again, um, honestly, right now I'm so totally focused on our team and how to make the changes and adjustments that our team needs that I haven't really focused in on them yet. But I mean, they're obviously, they're paying us money to come play them. So they think that they're going to have a pretty easy time. And our job is to just get, get better this week and, and go down there and at least challenge them and compete.